opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The Benoni defense immediately attacks the d4 pawn and creates squares for the black queen to develop. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn on d4. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to win a pawn. This is the way to win a pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This protects the attacked pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is the last book move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This removes the attacking pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This misses an opportunity to recapture a piece. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This leads to losing a pawn. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is the way to win a rook. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This wins a rook. It is excellent. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. This is the way to win a rook. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable knight. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. 
the opening was balanced. White overpowered black in the middle game.